Hello, welcome again to another edition of my video series. Uh, this one's going to be about small room, uh, small studio room acoustics. And I'm going to show you uh, the data from one of my builds. It's a very small room. It's only uh, 15, almost 1,600 cubic feet, and that's 45 cubic meters. And uh, we managed to get it to meet the Benella criteria, and uh, it's going to work pretty good. So here, here we go. Look at my screen here. Um, as you can see, it, meet, it meets Benello, and it's good down to 40 hertz. <clears throat> so uh, and the, the, so as I was talking about before in my other video about the RT60 and, and getting it to meet criteria, here's what this needs to meet. It's it, it uh, RT60 here at uh, 0 0.19 seconds maximum, uh, and the permissible rise to at 63 hertz is 0.24 seconds. So it's not that's pretty quick little room. It's got to be. Uh, the Schroeder frequency is 123 hertz, and now that it means after after treatment. Um, if if it's treated down to this RT60 that's showing here. It's going to be 123 hertz. Um, it's looking good. It doesn't have any double incidences. It's all all on, on the one line. So uh, let's have a look at the the design drawing here. I've built his. I've I've drawn his um, building structure there, and this is a room in a room. And the way we do this one is we put new joists next to the existing and they are basically 24 inches apart or six six ten six yeah 61 centimeters and the uh let's see let me z flip around here I'm, sh I'm sharing a little bit about isolation as well here you can see down between the the space between the walls i put some mason wic dash one uh isolators wall braces resilient wall <coughs> braces, uh, sway braces. Now on the, let's make the, the, the structural joist disappear here, and then take the isolated joist, make them disappear, then we're gonna get the, the drywall on top to disappear on the ceiling. So we, now we see the room structure, the way it is, completely isolated. There, were, there was a window over here on the outside wall. We blocked it up and put uh, drywall in the window cavity as to seal it up pretty much completely, match the exterior mass. We did a double layer of drywall in here on isolated framing. Uh, I'll, I'll just briefly uh, hide this um, drywall here, as you can see. And we'll look around here. You can see how the wall is constructed, fully isolated. The, the little, the two by four sections here in the wall are not uh, fire blocks or anything, but they, they, they support the, the wicks and where we attach the wicks uh, between the walls. Okay, so that keeps an eye isolation. Um, the treatment is go to the top view um, I'm going to bring back that the, the, the gypsum board right here by the, way, by the way this is a little studio in Nashville there's a lot of little home studios and of course there's a lot, a lot of home studios all over the world um, this I think I can just hide by doing this 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 and this and finally that we see a space coupler over here. That, oh, I, I, I whacked all the treatment. So let me just go back. <laughs> I'm going to put it in, in wireframe so I can just select these guys and hide them. It's easier sometimes. And this actually is me working on my, my laptop, what you're seeing on screen here. So it's not as fast as my big machine that oh shoot didn't get that hang on try again try again uh-huh this yeah 
and this. Ho ho ho. Alrighty. Alrighty then. Gotta, gotta get it. Now I gotta make this clear for you. Sorry, bear with me. This guy, this guy, and these critters here. Did I get everything? I think I did. Let's go back to conceptual. <clears throat> now, these are space couplers I use. I, I, I Sometimes I'll use this many and sometimes not. It just depends on the room, what's necessary. This is a small room. And uh, the speaker should be placed close to these slats. And the listening position is right at the end of this line. That's where one sits. So this is how a room is, is a small room is treated. You've got eight inch deep traps here. You've got a slanted, uh, it's about nine, nine and a half inches deep here, and it angles back at about 17 degrees. And that's always put at least even with or behind the mix position. You don't want any reflect reflective uh, components in the reflection zone. You, you have to watch out for this speaker where it might reflect back to the mix position, and you have to watch for the, the right-hand speaker that might hit hit over here and reflect back to the mix position. And uh, you, do, you can do ray tracing on something like this, and you can see it's not going to hit. Um, the rear is heavily diffused. This is a it's basically a double PRD a five twenty prime five twenty three PRD, and each of these will attenuate. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's twenty seven dB. So it's very high attenuation, and you can sit a little bit, quite a bit closer to this thing than a, a, a regular uh, Schroeder diffuser. This is a prime nineteen uh, diff sorber, and. <clears throat> It offers diffusion with absorption, so it, re it remains a, a trap. And you see how we got waveguides in there. In this depiction, it doesn't show the air gaps that are supposed to be in there. And this is fully absorb or absorptive. He has gypsum board walls, and we're not too worried about uh, the lower frequencies bouncing forward and back the, uh, the, 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 the axial modes. Now, I should show you also a, a room that is treated and built into a cement room, for instance. But this is how we nor or normally do a very small room, and uh, it will measure pretty darn good. It'll measure at least as good as this, you know. And <clears throat> anyway, let me let me go back. Let me show you uh, another room. I'll open up another. Uh, file and uh, share with you uh, a concrete room in my next video. So subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Cheers.